While I'm able to evaluate and treat chronic pain to a certain point within my competencies uh, and with the tools I have, it sometimes gets frustrated not being able to help those patients suffering from chronic pain. I would say half of my patients suffer from chronic pain. Uh, it's definitely uh, troublesome. Uh, these people are suffering, some are crying in my office. Um, I, I really feel for, for these people and I need tools uh, to really uh, accompany them through this journey of uh, pain. The workload was manageable. We always had access, easy access to the information, the lectures and the readings uh, that were posted online. Um, we were also given a syllabus at the beginning of the course, so we were able to plan our time uh, accordingly throughout the semester. Um, and uh, the course was very flexible, so it was really on our time. The online course gave me the opportunity to study while working, um, and I find the flexibility was unbelievable. It enabled me to pretty much study everywhere, um, at work, in the comfort of my own home, in a coffee shop, um, in an, and even in another city. Uh, what I liked the most was the fact that all the lectures can be downloaded onto the computer beforehand, therefore the internet connection was not required at all time. So a, a thorough, complete pain assessment requires an approach to pain that is far more than just pain neurology, so to speak. It requires psychology, physical therapy approaches, understanding of pharmacology, understanding of, of uh, a wide range of different approaches to pain. And really the best way to do that is with a team of people who can bring those skills to the assessment of the patient um, and in an ideal interdisciplinary context they talk to each other, they share their thoughts about the patient's experience and they develop a treatment plan with the patient at the centre that can then be used to improve the patient's quality of life and function. All members of the interdisciplinary team including the physician, the nurse, physiotherapist, occupational therapist, social worker, psychologist and others should work together uh, to establish pain management care plans and treatments and this in close collaboration with the patient and family who are also active members of the team. Indeed, the patient experiencing pain is the best person to make informed decisions on preferences and goals she or he wishes to achieve good pain control. So McGill University has a very long history of being a leader in pain research. Uh, from the days of Ron Melzack in the 1970s when the first interdisciplinary pain clinics were being set up, through to today when we have probably the single largest collection of basic science and clinical research in one place anywhere in the world. Uh, huge uh, innovations in genetics, in imaging pain, in understanding mechanisms of pain through animal studies and clinical trials, clinical epidemiology and uh, large-scale population databases. McGill is a tremendous force in the field of pain research. So at McGill School of Physical and Occupational Therapy, we have a 10-year experience in uh, online education. Mm -hmm. Our first certificate in driving rehabilitation was developed uh, in response to a need from the community, cl the clinical community, to build capacity in the area. And that's what we really did with our chronic pain certificate program, where we really responded to uh, a need expressed by the clinicians to have more advanced training in the area of pain management. We developed the certificate program uh, in collaboration with partners, key partners from the university, but also with experts from the clinical community so that we have really a truly interdisciplinary program. I was able to bring a lot of, the knowledge, a lot of knowledge and skills that I acquired throughout the course to my work. Uh, beginning from the first day of the course, I was able to apply the knowledge directly uh, in treating in my practice, treating the patients, and also to share a lot of the information with my colleagues. I believe that anybody working in pain should consider taking this certificate. 
uh, again to get a better understanding of what their pa patients are living with and to get a better understanding of the difficulties that they encounter on a daily basis and also to be more equipped with, the, uh, with proper assessments and treatment tools that are available for them. Well, a success story would be when we've educated the patient about the neurophysiology of, the, of pain and how they can diminish its hold on their lives. They can increase the quality and function of their lives as they see it.